Hi everyone, this is Lucky Kermit and welcome to another haul. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you um, the very first plushies that I found on vacation. Um, I have my very first Yoda here, just because the very first plush that I found on vacation were Star Wars plush. I was really surprised about, about, about that because I, I really didn't expect finding any Star Wars plush on vacation. But um, so lucky I was and um, and I was really uh, pleased and uh, so happy that I could bring them back and that they are all are, are ni nice souvenirs from this um, this uh, awesome vacation that we had. So uh, let me show you the very first one. Uh, first of all, I found this huge Yoda plush. Uh, no need to say how happy I was to find him. He was in the, um, uh, well, I saw him through a window actually in a shop, and uh, at the at the moment at that moment I wanted I wanted to enter the shop. It was closed, but due to the opening hours, it was actually open. And luckily, the owner was just getting an ice cream cone, um, and she just closed the door in the in the the instant that she was away. So. Um, Fortunately, I was able to get him, and the shop wasn't closed. <laughs> oh, I would have died if if it was closed, you know. And um, <laughs> yeah, that was just so funny. I was just so desperate, and um, I was so happy I could get him. Um, I just love his hair. I uh, I'm always caressing his hair and brushing his hair. And um, this is his tag. I think he's made by Play to Play. Um, there's like no special information on his tag, if you ask me. It's so small and so hard to read. Um, he has the same tag as my Big Vader plush that I that I had with me. Um, so yeah, he has no legs. See, it's just one big, ah, uh, one big piece. But it's more easy to make him stand like this. So if you make his cloak hide his um, his cloak hides hides his body. And uh, you can make him stand like this. Sometimes I push a bit on his nose just to make his face uh, turn a bit because it's really... It, he has a really weird face. My mom thinks he's really beautiful. I was pretty uh, surprised about that. He has his own Tower of Pisa around his uh, neck just that I can remember from where I got him. He doesn't come from Pisa actually. We did Pisa just the day after, um, but he comes from Luca, so I still can't remember where he come from. In that same shop, uh, well, I think I'm gonna put him down here. Oh. There you go, buddy. I think he's a bit smaller than the real one. There you go. Yeah, I think he won't. He doesn't really stand up straight. Um, well, the next one I found in that same shop was this middle-sized Darth Vader. Now actually he looks exactly like the small one that Camilla gave me, the one I call Pinky Vader, because he has pink boots. And the uh, um, big one, who's sitting at right there. Um, and in that shop they had the middle sized one, so I was so happy I had the three sizes. And this is his tag, yeah it's a bit curved and bended because I used Vader uh, in the car when I had a nap. Um, so yeah, it has the same tag, also made by play to play I love this design. Um, I love this, uh, this plush. And also he has a Tower of Pisa around his neck. This is a smaller tower than Yoda's tower, because this is a smaller plush. And a loom band to hold the tower. Now I still can't remember they come from Italy. And, uh, I just love the size and... I'm so happy I found the middle-sized one, because I would never believe I would ever find it. I wasn't even looking for it, and there it was. I can tell you I was so, so lucky. But it had plush from all kinds of television um, series and stuff. I was just so lucky to come across that shop. Cute smile. And the next ones, well, you won't believe it, because I found them in a news agent. Um, the very first one is uh, Darth Maul. 
and he has a bracelet. These are all bracelets people gave me, so a lot of my Star Wars plush have uh, bracelets that sellers gave me because I bought something in their shop. Um, I don't really used to wear a lot of bracelets because I work in a farm and it's pretty disgusting. I love Dark Maul. I don't really like the character, but I was really happy to find a plush of him and I have all my keychains like this and I'm was, I was just so happy to find bigger ones. Now actually my parents were having ice cream and uh, I wasn't so interested, I couldn't eat, it was just too hot. And um, I thought they would go on, but they just stayed in the ice cream shop. And uh, I was like, I want to walk, I just can't stand here. And then I came across this newspaper, uh, news agent, and uh, well, it's an amazing coincidence actually. I just love his cloak, he has a, it's really dark, but he has a nice cloak on him. And the next one that I found was also one that I like. I found Boba Fett. I just love the colors of this one and I made this loom band for him. And actually they have like always the same tag. And I gave him their I uh, put those in them um their initials on the tag that I know from which uh, plush the tag is. I'm going to remove the tags, that's why. They're pretty long and annoying. So, yeah, that's Boba Fett. And uh, just to get TK a little friend, I, ha I have another Stormtrooper. And also he has a bracelet, see? We came across people and they just gave this to us. I don't think there's something interesting on the tag. I was happy to find these Star Wars plush. I never, I never came across these ones. And one of the last ones, this is R2. Now I got another R2 because I didn't have this one. And I liked him pretty much, I liked the design. Another easter egg actually, but he looks nice and I just love these marking here, it's really realistic and it really looks like like the real marking. It's beautiful. I love, I love how they feel those plush, they are just so, so soft. And that's a droid. And the last one, also one that I really liked and he also has a bracelet I think. Is another Vader. Another Darth Vader. I just like Darth Vader so much. Um, and that's the sad thing about the other Vader plushies. Um, don't like the way they design the legs and the feet just right under their... Right under their butts. That's really ugly if you ask me on some plushies. And that's why I really like the those ones. Because this plush really looks like a human, you know. It looks like a human being, not like a robot. And this one is just, I like the way he puts his hand, uh, his hand up here. But his head is gigantic and his body is just so small and that's so sad about those plush. It would be nice if they would look more like, more like true to the character. They're already awesome plush but that would, that's just a little weakness if you ask me. So yeah, these are the Star Wars plush that I found and um... I am just so happy uh, I found these. Of course, I was just so surprised. Now, I really hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you, uh, I'll see you later for even more plush. Bye!